Hello, fellow hackers, and welcome to another episode of the Weekly Purple Team. This week, we're taking a look at Silent But Deadly by Loose Hose. The reason I'm taking a look at this is this isn't novel or awesome. It is a, it's a good automation, but this is just automating something that red teamers have been doing for a while, right? And what they're doing is they're trying to isolate the agents for EDR or the processes for EDR to stop them from communicating back to cloud. Why do they do this? Well, if it can't communicate back to cloud, it certainly can't send an alert, can it? And your SIM agent can't send logs either. Well, we'll purple team this out, but this is a pretty cool automation. It's called Silent by Deadly by Loose Hose. It's a simple C program. And right now this sucker is sliding by EDR like crazy. So I've been using it just to automate this function. Now you can certainly do this manually if you get control of a box, which we'll demonstrate here in a little bit, but this sucker is sliding right by. So now given it's only two weeks old and that will change. So run red teamers run, but this is working and I'll demonstrate that for you now. So let's jump over here to our Windows 11 host one. I have SBD, uh, changed the name a little bit, took the comments out of it. Typical stuff that I do immediately to ensure that EDR doesn't just get a quick win. Uh, compiled this sucker and got it over here on Windows 11. Defender, fully active as usual. The only thing not in place is automatic sample submission. I never do that. You guys know why I don't do that. I don't want to eat my beacons, but this is fully active, right? And this is also getting by a lot of EDRs that I have tested that I won't give the names out here, the commercial ones that my company supports. So I'm not going to just barge them here on my YouTube channel, but it is getting by a lot. So feel free to test on your own. Now, we're just going to get an administrative command prompt here. We'll go cmd.exe. We'll go run as administrator. And then we're just going to simply run this. And in running it, we will see it will start working and it will tell you what it does. This tool blocks EDR network communications only. No processes will be terminated. It doesn't terminate the process, right? It just blocks it from communicating outbound. You still have to get by on box detection. That's not nearly as hard, right? You're not going up against threat intelligence feeds. It can't upload your obfuscated binary to the cloud and then analyze it and then block it, right? It then performs a privilege check. As you see here, make sure you're running with admin privileges. You have to be for this to work. And then it tells you about the Windows filtering platform. Many of you red teamers have been doing this stuff by hand, right? It doesn't do any program termination or process kills, right? So that's good. That's a good thing. It just blinds everything. It doesn't modify the reg registry, doesn't do any driver installation. So when we hit enter here, notice it's going to detect the EDR. So it immediately detected MSMP engine. So that's Defender, right? But it also detected the Elastic agent. I really wasn't expecting it to do that, but that's a great step. Yeah, you don't want it to be able to send stuff to SIM. Albeit, we'll talk about how this works in the purple team part of this. And it finds the processes. The interesting thing here, I do have Velociraptor running on this. It did not find Velociraptor. So that might be a way that you could detect this kind of stuff as well. It's going to go ahead and create the Windows filtering platform rules right here. If I hit enter and notice what it's doing, it's creating the WFP rules, creating the sub layer, doing the initialization, and then you install it. And it is now created those network filters and now it's monitoring. So as long as this program is running, now EDR cannot communicate back to the cloud. So now you can do all the badness you want. All you have to do is get by EDR on box. Nothing's gonna happen, right? Almost all EDRs now are cloud-based. This is a good method to ensure that we're getting by EDR and that nothing is detected. Okay, that's the red. You can see this is working. We have stopped EDR from functioning. We've stopped SIN logs from going to SIN. Okay, so we as blue teamers, how do we catch this? How can we purple team this? Well, these solutions leak. And what I mean when I say they leak is that they're not fast enough typically to prevent the host from getting the initial logging to the SIM. Your EDR, if it gets by your EDR, is not going to see Jack. But if we take a look at our Elastic SIM over here 
and I'll do the last, we'll go a very short time frame. We'll do the last five minutes here. And we're going to look for event ID 5447. So this is the creation of a WFP filter, 5447. And notice we're going to see one called EDR block. Well, that's exactly what it is. It is an EDR network block. If you have a name of a Windows filtering rule that shows up as an EDR network block, you've got uh, obviously somebody doing something bad. Now, telltale signs here. If we open this and we look at the message, now I have noticed that this is an ignored value on my SIM. So you do have to go in and set this. If you want it to be an index field, it is not an index field by default on Elastic. But if you look at the log message, in here, you can see what it's blocking. Notice it says E-L, and then on the next line, A-S-T-I-C, Elastic, and then Agent, Data, Elastic, Agent. So you can build a rule looking for your particular EDR variants that you run in your environment. Here's an example. If I do Defender, I do event code 5447 and message in the message field, I'm looking for Fender with the dots. I should get one. We'll go the last, let's, we'll just do last 15 minutes here. And there we go, last 15 minutes. So we can see right here, number two. And if you look really close, you'll see the Fender in the message field because it does the, it puts it between lines. So you have to have seen this in your SIM previously to know exactly how to do it. Now you could bring this down to a, a very small thing, like if you do FEN, but you might get some false positives. But just realize, any time an adversary is doing this, even if they're doing it manually, they're going to be creating these rules. These rules will look the same in the event ID. They're gonna be doing matching values and conditions. And that's what you're looking for. If you look for the EDR network block, okay, yeah, you're gonna detect this particular program, right? You're gonna detect silent but deadly, but you're better to look through the matching value and coordinate to that, because this is what red teamers are doing. They're blocking your EDR agents from getting out. Once they get on the system, this is one of the first things they're doing, right? If they can get to the Windows filtering platform. If they're an admin, they start putting up walls around the EDR so that it doesn't report. Well, they've got to be super fast, right? Now, a lot of the time, uh, the modern EDRs typically don't catch this, but you will catch this at SIM with this particular event ID. The next question is, are you sending this event ID to SIM? You might not be. These are loud. Windows filtering platform can be pretty loud. So you need to make sure you're sending this to SIM and you're looking for this. Now, here's another example. Event, I, event code 5447 with the message looking for Elastic, if you have the Elastic SIM. I showed this just a minute ago, but I'll paste it in just to verify. If we can now look over here, you can see we're all blocking the Elastic Agent right there, Elastic Agent. So this is the only way you can detect this. Once this is in place, there will be no more artifacts. Why? It's now blocking that stuff from getting to you. You're not gonna get an alert. You're not gonna get whatever they're doing after the fact. You're now at an on-box investigation. Then you're looking at tools like Hayabusa, things like that, Velociraptor, things that you can do after the fact to determine what the adversary did here, because you're not gonna see any of it. You are now blind. Right. And that's the whole point of this. All right. That's all I've got for you this week at Hack the Planet to Defend Better. Prime Pill, Jimmy Hawks, man.